Well, a Spanish artist has come under fire after using materials that they didn't have the rights to in a recent poster campaign. Our team in the Cube has been looking into it. Well, Hannah, today's story is about a rather magnificent fall from grace. Two days ago, the Ministry of Equality in Spain has released this campaign called uh, Summer is Also Ours, all about body positivity. So at the beginning, it did receive quite a lot of positive feedback uh, for normalizing different body shapes and sizes and for fighting fat phobia. But in the space of a few hours, this campaign went from universal acclaim to global disdain. And we've decided not to show you the full poster today because of all of the issues behind it. One of them is that one of the models behind me, Naomi Nicholas Williams, took to social media to explain that one of her pictures from her personal Instagram account was taken without her authorization and used in this campaign. And she told us that the execution of this campaign unfortunately undermined its overall message. It kind of takes away from what they were trying to like put out in the first place, which was meant to be a positive statement. It just kind of confirms that as women, we don't really have control over our bodies and this has just kind of cemented that. And what's even more bizarre in this whole story was that uh, Naomi's face was uh, taken and photoshopped onto the body of someone else. And something quite similar happened to another model in the poster. Her body was taken from her personal Instagram account, but her face was photoshopped to be different. The artist added short hair as well as sunglasses. But that's not all. There's also another controversy in this whole campaign, and it has to do with the typography. A Twitter user assured that he knew who had designed it and that this person had not been paid for it. And so the artist behind this campaign reacted on Twitter and she said that she'd like to publicly apologize to the models for being inspired by their photographs for the campaign and for having used an unlicensed typeface thinking it was free. And she also promised that she will share uh, the profits equally between the models and the designer that are concerned. And the Women's Institute in Spain, so that's an organization under the Ministry of Equality that commissioned this campaign, reacted by thanking the artist for recognizing the error regarding the illustration and to being open to listening to the woman involved. But Helena, not everyone online is really convinced by this. This campaign was initially meant to fight aesthetic violence, but many, like this Twitter user, argue that without asking for their consent, these women are subjected to for another type of violence, this time an economic one. As you say, Sophia, all about consent there. Sophia, thanks a lot.